Into my gear we go. Sounds like a transformer. After reaching my gear, I boot up the simulation. The usual stats float across my screen, but something about this seems off. Kyrie's voice comes through the comm. Where are your weapons? I don't know. Let me see if there's something in the settings. Why didn't you do a comprehensive check on your gear? I did. It doesn't scan weaponry since it's not part of the mech's core function. Your combat gear doesn't have weaponry set as a core function during checks. Kari, let me do my job. Jesus, I've never run into this issue before, although she does make a good point. I try every setting combination I can think of, but my weapons still aren't registering. Try waiting a minute. Sometimes there's a lag while your gear warms up. There shouldn't be a lag. We wait anyway. After a few minutes, it's clear my weapons aren't going to show up. I don't know what's going do on. Do you even have weapons? Of course I do. Then where are they? Suddenly, my soft voice cuts through. Maybe they're still being processed at customs? I've heard that gear and their accessories are processed separately. That makes sense. How long will it take to process? I... I don't know. Too long! We need those weapons now! Don't worry, it'll be okay. No, it won't! How will we fight without weapons? I'll figure something out. Let's just start the match. We're running out of time. Fine. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult. Everyone ready? Kyrie. Oh, okay, let's go. Everyone's calm really relay blinks green in affirmation. Alright, let's start. Alright, here we go. Here goes. W. Oh. W. W. A. W. Oh, W. This actually isn't that hard. A. Oh, no. Oh, W. W. S. Oh, it's just W A S D. It's easy. This isn't that hard. But I have to really concentrate because I'm having a hard time focusing. Well, that was a bust. I was destroyed in my defense. That was pretty hopeless matchup since I was unarmed. Without a fourth teammate, my team barely manages to win. We all shut off the simulator and climb out of a gear. I start to head back towards the team, but they all get to me first. We can't play a match like that. We hardly scored any points. I don't know what you want me to do, Kyrie. I don't have any weapons. Don't worry, Kyrie. I'm sure he'll have his equipment soon. Not soon enough. The match is today. Maybe he shouldn't compete. We can tell them we have four members, but one of our gears is in no condition to fight. I looks at her determinedly. No, he has to. It's the only way. Why am I? I have no weapons. How am I supposed to do this? Chad looks apologetically at me. Look, maybe you should just hang back. Without weapons, the AIs will ruin you. That's what I'm thinking too. I can still help us gain points. No, Sho is right. You have to hang back. That will maximize our qualifier points. Which is what's important right now. Shao stares in shock. Did you just agree with me? <laughs> Not now, Sho. <laughs> you never agree with me. Idiot! Why do you keep saying that? Just then, a group of engineers come toward us. <laughs> what are your gears still doing here? Say what? They've got to be prepped for the next match. That means we're next. Let's go. Oh, God. What about our gears? The engineers will handle it. <sighs> they engineers dispersed. They engineers dispersed towards our gears. What? No. The. There we go. That's better. The engineers dispersed towards our gears. My team splits up to head to the locker rooms. We quickly manage into our combat uniforms. Luckily, I'd kept my old one from the states. 
I followed Shao into the pre-combat room, which was a small room connecting to the locker room in the arena. The space feels cramped. Crouch couches line the walls and around the table in the center. I barely have time to take in the room when Kairi and Mayo walk in dressed in equally skin-tight suits which hug their every curve. Jesus! So sleek. Just stare. No comment. Xiao Xiao's care package drops and appears to be flattened. <laughs> Ugh, okay, there's just no comment. We're all wearing pretty similar suits. I'm not a fan of how the material clings, but at least provides ample movement and shock absorption, which I suppose is the point of them. The girls head directly to the table and Xiao joins them here. As I approach the table, Kairi hits a button on the side, which brings up a hologram of the arena battlefield. Four impressive gear pop up onto the right side of the field, and our smaller gear populate the other side. Kari points to the right. These are the enemy AI gear we'll be battling. She points to the other side. This is us. Okay. The AIs are programmed to be a challenge. So it's important that we stick to the plan and work together to take them out. Alright. Mayo speaks up in her expression solemn. The gears we are facing against are specifically engineered for Ace Academy qualifier matches. They change yearly to make sure they can't be beat using a systematic approach. Alright. With a quick flick of the fingers, Mayo zooms into an AI gear holograph. Statistics on the AI battle arraignments and parts pop up besides the gear. It looks like we have two Class A close combat and two Class A long range support gears. Kairu nods, reaching her hand into the holographic field. She shuffles her gears into position on the map. Knowing all that, Sho and I will blitz the melee gears to give Mayu some breathing room. She will focus on suppressive fire on their back line. That should give us enough time to finish off the two gear and engage for the remaining ones. Mayu and Xiao both nod in agreement. Kairi pulls the last gear towards the back edge of the map, then looks pointedly at me. This is where you will be. Don't get yourself killed. I look at her flatly, but I don't dispute her. The map flashes red and the door to the arena slides open. Xiao faces lights up in excitement and he practically leaps towards the door. That's our cue to get out there. No weapons. All right. <sighs> Let's give this a shot. Does everyone understand the plan? We all nod. Okay, then let's go. Taking a deep breath, I follow Xiao and the rest of my team to our redyed gears, ready gears. Oh, I'm really drunk. <laughs> While in our gear, we walk into the circular arena. Students, sponsors, professors, and other general spectators fill the stadium. A large screen displays our every move for those sitting in the back. A hush falls over the crowd as we get into place. The energy is a bit lower than usual for a live match. Probably because this is a technically still an examination. Alright, let's do this. Across from us, the four enemy AIs enter. Everyone good? Uh, the comms light up green again. The best way to help is if I stick with the plan. Oh, <laughs> whoops, sorry. The best way to help is if I stick with the plan. Me, without sight, I won't risk putting them into compromising positions that can't cause loss of field advantage. Or YOLO! Listen to this one. <laughs> Following Kyrie's plan, I hang back away from the action. My teammates get into position. Mayu falls behind Xiao and Kairi, who lead the attack. Kairi and Xiao weave between the melee mechs and run interference, alternating blasts and defense and distractions. Mayu darts from cover to cover until she's in position. Then she lines up a sniper shot for the melee AI. For a while, they're able to keep off a roof. Boom! Nice shot. A sudden high-powered rail beam from Mayu instantly depowers one of the Melee AIs. Nice one, Three more to go. Mayo, look out! The range AI locks into Mayo. She runs for the only available cover, but doesn't make it in time. Just before the blast hits her, Xiao intercepts his shot, taking the damage himself. Arr! Arr! So Here we go. 
sorry. I'm down. Kairi dashes towards the range gear and takes it out with a single powerful swing. Here we go. Here we go! Watch out, Mayu! As Kairi races towards her, Mayu dodges a swing from the enemy mech. My radar just pinged. The range gear is ca is Kari. Oh no! A flurry of beams zaps through Kari's shield and depowers her gear. The AMEC must have had repositioned itself to Kari's minimally defended air arc. I don't think I've ever seen program gears do something so strate strategic. These gears are tough. So it's me against two, three? Is that three still? Oh god. Or two, I don't remember. With the rest of my team depowered, the remaining AI gear slowly turned to my face. To face me. So, about that plan? Um, maybe you could try to negotiate with them? Yeah, at this point, Xiao, and that might be the best option right now. <laughs> Stop joking around! We still need to boost our score! Go deal as much damage as you can. Okay. Easier said than done. I'll get my hands in position. I mumble to myself as I ready my fist for the impending combat. W S D A D Oh fuck no. W I can do this. A W W Come on. I got this, D, A, D, D, oh fuck, S, S is down there, W, D, S. This is like our training match all over again. I'm only able to hold out for a short time as most of my core energy is used to dodge two gears at once. Shields offline. Power core at one percent. Oh god, here we go. This is not good. The AI Metal Gear raises its blade. Eagles not responding. Is this really how it's it'll end? Oh Emergency Power Core Protocol sequence initiated. Emergency Power Core Protocol? That's always good news. In my cockpit cockpit, all the lights shine on at once. Statistics and numbers I've never seen before scroll across my displays. Oh! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Ah! Oh my god. A thunderous boom catches my attention and a surge of explosive energy shoves the attacking AI gear ten feet away. I look out and see a shallow crater around Eagle. Protocol sequence complete. Energy output over 9,000. What the fuck? Oh, my armor change! What? No external weaponry detected. Activating energy fists. Let's do this! Energy fists! I'm about to kick some serious fucking AI motherfucking ass right now. Eagle's arm glow faintly. Engaging enemy gear. Let's go! Bring it! Press any direction. Ooh. I am kicking some ass. Here destroyed. Engaging secondary target. Attack the bastard! Ooh oh, I hit her. Sorry. Ooh this is awesome! Yeah, it fucking is. I just kicked two Gears asses. Oh my god. Power can no longer sustain output. Eagle depowering. Man, that was sick. Whew! Just barely managed to pull that off. Qualifier yeah, that was good. Match complete. Please exit the arena with your gear. That was impressive. What the fuck was that though? What the hell happened? What? I don't even know. My mind is like blown right now.
The crowd is quiet for a moment before erupting into defining cheers. Outside the arena, Shao claps me on the back, nearly knocking me off balance. Even Mayu offers me a handshake. Kairi trails behind, looking unusually thoughtful. That was amazing! You totally saved us back there, Brosif! I don't even know what I'd take, Shao. Thanks, though. You did okay. But only because we helped you so much. Kairi... Okay. Are you kidding? Between the three of us, we took down two. He took down two on his own! You have to admit, that's more than okay! At least you followed the plan. I didn't even know what it did, Shao. And yes, Kairi, you're right. At least I did follow the plan. That's right. What your idea was, was good. Of course I did. It became... it. It's because I'm sensitive to your needs. <laughs> it was a stupid plan. No, it was a good plan. That's what we agreed upon. Well, now we know you can follow directions. That's more than I can say for show. <laughs> hey! We still would have scored better if you were properly equipped. I'm not worried about that anymore. Why not? Because he's got that amazing core thing. I don't even know what it is, Shao. Why do you keep talking? I don't even know what it is. If it's all right for me to ask, how did you do that? Yeah, what exactly was that max power mode thing anyway? Why didn't you tell us you could do that when we ran the simulation? I didn't know I could. I didn't know I could. I would have if I'd known about it. Is that sarcasm? No, honestly, Kyrie, I didn't know what it was. No, I'm just surprised it's you guys. Huh? My and Shao blink. You mean you did that by accident? Yeah. Yeah, basically. That's some accident. You tell me. At least we won, though. Could you do it again? <sighs> I really don't know. Maybe? Hmm. I don't like that thoughtful look on her face. The crackle of intercom interrupts us. Thank you to everyone who participated. The first phase of matches have been completed. Shao grins. All right, round one complete. Victory party at my place? Party! Yeah, Shao, let's hang out. Sorry, Shao. I've got some place to be. Aww. Really? Where? N none of your business! <sighs> it's not like you have any other friends. Oh. That was rough. Ooh, Shaw, you gotta ca be careful what you say. Yes, I do. Who? You just don't know them. All right. Is it because they aren't real? <laughs> Shaw, God, oh, don't be so mean. Kyrie raises her fist. I'll show you real. Oh. Shaw jumps away. It was a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. I need to go before I'm late anyway. See you, Mayu. Mayu waves and Kyrie disappears around the corner. So what about you two? Mayu smiles but shakes her head. I wish I could, but father is visiting tonight. He will be very eager to hear about today's match. Okay, Mayu. Tell him hi for me. She nods, says goodbye to both of us and leaves. Bye, Mayu. Good luck with that. Party of two? What do you say? Now take out, Shao. I've got nothing better to do. Let's do it. Before I can answer, Shao gets a text. Hold on. Huh? He quickly reads over the message. Actually, we might need a rain check on that party. Shao, come on. We just won. What do you mean? What's up? It's just Takashi. He set yet another trash can bonfire. I don't know who that is. What? It's no big deal. They just had to evacuate everyone in the building. Anyway, since I'm temporarily homeless, I'm gonna go hang out in the rec center. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll let you handle that then. He nods. Looks like farewells are in order. Good night to you then, Mr. Brosif. See ya, Shao. Yeah, you too. After saying goodbye, head towards the parking lot. Oh, that's good. Ugh. I don't even know what happened. We won somehow, who knows. Both Uncle Kyoto and Nikki are lounging on the couch when I get home. I plop down in a nearby chair. You're finally home? I was getting worried. Nikki, don't worry about me. I can handle myself. Sorry, the qualifiers ran later than I expected. That's right, today was a big day. How'd it go? We scored big. Please, it's me. I could have 
No, it was, we did, yeah, I don't know, the fuck, we did really good. It was hard, but I'm confident we got a high score. Nikki jumps out of her seat to hug me while Uncle Kayakta grins from ear to ear. Yeah! I never doubted you for a second. We, I don't know, it wasn't, it was kind of an accident, Nikki. Well, you kid, I knew you could do it. No. Thanks, guys. So, I guess your team was happy they brought you on, weren't they? Absolutely, because my weapons haven't cleared through customs, they asked me to stay out of the way. <laughs> Nikki pouts. That doesn't seem fair. It's wet. You can't really do anything without weapons, Nikki. That's alright, I understood. So I held back. They did really well and took out two of the AIs before they were struck down. Then I managed to take out the other two. Much to the, to the surprise of everyone. Uncle Kaito laughs. That's my boy. <laughs> But afterwards was kind of strange. Everyone was really interested in my core. What's wrong with your core? I don't know. Did you ever notice anything weird about it back at CINY? No, not really. It was really kind of strange. And I wouldn't worry about it. <sighs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. Uncle Kayata stands out, stands and stretches. <laughs> I'm going to go grab a drink. You want some food? We left you a plate. Yeah, that'd be great. I begin to stand when Kayata stops me. I'll get it. No, oh, thanks, Kayata. <laughs> I turn to Nikki. So, how was your day? Pretty good. Did I tell you that I auditioned for the dance team? Oh, I got it. That's great, Nikki. I didn't know she could dance. I'm really excited about it, but I'm a little worried because. I haven't danced since. Ooh. Her voice chokes up and she glances away. I know, and they would be so proud that you're doing it again. She smiles sadly. It feels weird knowing they won't be there to watch any of my competitions. Mom never missed a show. And remember how Dad used to make a poster with my name and he'd wave it around like an idiot? I can't help but laugh at the memory. Ugh, I remember being so embarrassed. Yeah, you used to tell him the wrong dates for your competitions hoping he wouldn't show up. I know, but he always did. He'd wave that poster and cheer louder than anyone else. And all I could think about was how I wanted to crawl into a hole and die. But I think about it now and I'd give anything to see one of his posters again. Her voice cracks and she rubs her eyes. I scoop closer and wrap my arms around her. I'm sorry. I miss them too, but hey, they still got me. Ugh, after all the shit Nikki has put me through so far. Ugh. She's still my sister. And lucky for you, I'm an expert poster maker. Kayato? We both glance at Kay up at Uncle Kayato as he sets the plate of food down in front of me. Nikki lets out a weak laugh. Got some tough shoes to fill. I'm up for the challenge. She smiles and wipes out her eyes one last time. Thanks, guys. Uncle Kaito smiles back. So, movie night tonight? I really want to watch a movie with Uncle Kaito and Nikki. Ugh. I'm game. Yeah! Let's do this. Great. What do you feel like watching? Oh, whoa. The Gear Father, <laughs> the Sixth Gear, the Lord of the Gears, Raiders of the Lost Gear, the Hunger Gears, Jurassic Gear, Shakes on a Gear, I, Senro Bot, Fifty Shades of Gear, anything with Senro Diablo. Developers, nice job on that. Compliments to you. Uh, let's hold on, you gotta give me a second. Gear Father, Sixth Gear, Lord of the Gears. Well, you gotta respect Indiana Jones. Hmm. Let's go with Indiana Jones. A renowned archaeologist is recruited to find the gear of the Covenant? Yeah! Uncle God that looks lost. Not sure I've seen this one, bud. You've not seen this one? Oh, God. Really, Uncle Kaido? It's really popular in America. You gotta watch it, man. It's some good shit. It's some really fucking good shit. 
Yeah, the Bible speaks of the gear leaving mountains and laying waste in entire regions. An army that carries the gear before it, it's invincible. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. Kyoto! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We're watching this right now. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. We're watching this. Oh, we should watch this then. Yeah. Anyway, I go find the movie so we can watch it. We enjoy the cinematic experience late into the night. A great ending to a great day. Oh, yeah, it was a good day. The soft chipping of birds gradually awaken me from my slumber. My muscles scream as I push myself in bed. It looks like being out of the live matches for a while has taken its toll. Still, the pain is a reminder of a well-played battle, which is comforting. 9 a.m. With a yawn, I crawl out of my bed and ready myself for the day. I head downstairs expecting to see Nikki. Hey! No one's here. Weird. I'll pull out my phone and see a text message from her. Hey, I'm going out with some friends for breakfast and then shopping. I was going to tell you in person, but you were still sleeping by the time I was heading out. Lazy bones. Kato also said he's heading out to an emergency meeting. I know how useless you are when it comes to breakfast, so open the fridge and check the second row. Talk to you later. Useless. <laughs> Opening the fridge, I'm greeted with the most delicious looking egg salad sandwich I've ever seen. Oh, I love those. Those are my favorite. Damn it, Nikki, always making it impossible to stay mad at you. I know, those are so good. Ooh. I bring the sandwich to the table along with a poured glass of juice. I wonder what I should do today. This seems like a good spot to stop, guys. I know, I know, I know. Very exciting, but we have to stop. I've got stuff I need to do. You probably have stuff you need to do. Get it out of the way. Alright. You know, it's been fun. I'm enjoying this game. Really good. There's some small things that I'd recommend changing, but you know, it's all good. It's pretty fun. Alright, so this is Jake Wild checking out. Have a good day, guys.